family fortunes. And tonight's families are the Jackson family. And they're playing the Frazier family. And now, here's your host, Les Dennis. Good evening and welcome to Family Fortunes. We've been busy with our survey all week and we have two families ready to do battle with a chance of winning £5,000 and if they can match the top answers in big money, a choice of star prize, either this top of the range family car. It's a stunning new estate car in metallic silver. It's a high performance engine, twin airbags, ABS, central locking and colour coded bumpers and mirrors. Or a magnificent luxury holiday for up to 12 people. This week, South Africa Airways' destination is to a tropical paradise set in the Zimbali Forest Reserve on the unspoiled Dolphin Coast. You can get close to nature on safari or on the golf course if you dare. OK, let's meet the families. The first family we meet tonight are the Brazier family. Hi, Gary. Hello, Les. It's an unusual name, the Braziers. It is, yes. We've been called a few times the Braziers as well. Have you? We have, yeah. <laughs> but you don't hold that against anybody? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not, not you, anyway. All right, mate. Introduce us to the family. Where are you from, first of all? We're from Folkestone, Les. Folkestone. OK, in... introduce us. This is Marie, my wife. Hi, Marie. Hello, Les. This is my dad. Hello, Les. You're not going to tell us what his name is? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got so many names. This is Mick, my dad. Mick is... Hiya, Mick. Hi, Les. This is Steve, my cousin. Hi, Steve. Hi, Les. And on the end there, that's Steve's wife, my cousin-in-law, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Les. Good to meet you all. Now, you, Gary and Marie, it's really interesting how you met, isn't it? Because you met in the Euro Tunnel. We did, yes. We did. How did that happen? Well, she kept trying to chat me up over the radio, Les. I didn't see what you looked like, so... So you, work, okay. you both work for Euro Tunnel, is we that do, right? Yes, yes, we do. Okay, right. Marie works on the trains and I work on the, on the ground. And you, what, you, you've got a record, haven't you? You hold a record? Yes, I'm the, uh, the youngest train driver for Euro Tunnel. Are you? Yes. Fantastic. Only a small record, but it's a very good one. It's big enough for me. So you met and then fell in love over the airwaves? Well, I didn't see what it looked like, so that helped. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit disappointed when I did. Yeah? Uh, but you, you still went through them anyway. Look at those, Les. Well, let's see them ears. What? Oh, look, look at that. Those? Yeah, you've got ears. You can talk. <laughs> it's like a brief encounter for the millennium, isn't it? All right, that's the braziers. Let's go over and meet the Jacksons. Respect to you, Donis. That's another unusual name. Donis, I've never heard that. Where's that from? No, it's from St. Vincent. I'm originally from St. Vincent. OK, that's where the family's from originally? It is. And where do you live now? In Croydon, in Surrey. All right, Donis, introduce us to your family. My cousin, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Liz. My cousin, Jean. Hi, Jean. Yo, Liz. Yo, Jean. <laughs> you probably <laughs> prefer that to hi, Jean, don't you? <laughs> hi, Jean. <laughs> Yo, Jean. My sister, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Liz. And my brother, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Liz. Good to meet you all. And now, l let me know about this. You are a family of children's entertainers. That's right. Yeah? Yes. I actually work with children, and um, we like to entertain at parties and things. Okay. And we teach children's you've got, songs. You've got a children's song, haven't you? I have. That you all do? That's right. Come on, let's, this is the Jackson 5. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. I love a sausage, a bonny, bonny sausage. I put it in the oven for my tea. And I went down the cellar to get some salt and pepper. My sausage ran after me. Tesme <laughs> expected some fantastic, up-to-date rap. <laughs> and I get, I love a sausage. <laughs> Donis, do you have any other hobbies? Yeah, I love stripping. Sorry? I love stripping. Stripping? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, after a hard day's work with the children, I go home, relax, and start stripping the wallpapers off my bedroom and the kitchen. So I'm just decorating <laughs> at the moment. I was just worrying then this children's entertainer who says, I love stripping. OK, that's the families. We hope that you're ready to play at home as we play Family Fortunes. Oh, 100 people surveyed in all our questions, top six answers in this first game. We asked 100 people to name something you do when you get a flat tyre. You were both answering that before the question was finished. <laughs> Gary? Panic. Panic! <laughs> You're really handy there, mate. Panic! <laughs> it isn't there, Doris. Call the AA. Call the AA. <laughs> Call the AA or the RAC. OK, what do you want to do? Play or pass? Play. 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 Rejoin your family, no conferring. So, are you a children's entertainer as well then, Wendy? Um, only at the weekends. Right. <laughs> what do you do the rest of the time? I'm a customer service manager for a well-known financial institution. OK, what do you think? 
um, call your partner. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> get a flat tire. Oi, get here and fix it. <laughs> call your partner. <laughs> So, a life lost there. Hi, Jean. How are you doing? Hi. I said higher there. I didn't say hi, Jean. I, I'm avoiding that for you. I'll say yo, Jean, for you. Okay? You have a wasp phobia. Yes, I do, Les. Um, driving along in the car one day with my cousin and her little girl, and the window was down. It was a nice sunny day, and a wasp flew in. And I've got this phobia that they're going to sting me at the back of my neck. Right. So, as the wasp flew in, I just jumped out the car. didn't bother to pull the handbrake out, put it in neutral. I just left it for my cousin to do all the work. You left it running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you, did you bail out? Did you, yes, did you hurt yourself? Yes, out. No, I don't care. I just don't like wasps. <laughs> what happened to the wasp, Donis? It flew out after G. <laughs> did it? <laughs> <laughs> well, this will probably suit you then. Something you do when you get a flat tyre. Change the tyre. Change it. Yeah. Okay, it sounds like the, the obvious thing to do, doesn't it? <laughs> change it. Yes, change the wheel. <laughs> this is the top answer. 46 people said it. Hiya, Jackie. Hi, Les. What do you think? Something you do when you get a flat tyre. Uh, call the garage. Call the garage. <coughs> Two lives have gone already. Maybe the braziers will get a chance to steal. Hiya, Sean. Hi, Les. How are you doing, mate? Very good, thank Tell you. Tell me a bit about yourself. Um, well, I work for a flight-only co um, company, which is based in West in West Sussex. Yeah. Um, I, my hobbies uh, include playing a lot of sport, i.e. football. I've got a little son who's 19 months now. I'm trying to train him for the England squad. How old is he, uh, He's 19 months. Right, OK. Yeah. So you're expecting scouts down there well, already? He's got a good tackle on him at the moment, but it's just... He's I'm sorry? He's got a good tackle... <laughs> Yeah, but um, just hopefully, he's, he's shown a little bit of promise at the moment, so okay. and I enjoy my time with him anyway. Fantastic. All right, Sean, Thank what you. do you think? Try and repair the puncture, actually. Repair the puncture? <laughs> Inflate is answer number five, and you have a prize as well, Sean. What have we got? Get all the magic of the movies with this state-of-the-art DVD player. Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Much better than video, brilliant, it's fantastic. Brilliant. The picture is great, mate. Wonderful. Donis, what do you think? Scream. So we've had panic and now you think... I've screamed. Scream, yeah. okay. We're looking for scream. <laughs> Swear is out to number two. Well played. <laughs> 18 people agreed with you. It's really getting us a long way, this, isn't it? <laughs> We're changing it. Wendy. And um, buy a new one, Liz. What, just get a new buy car? Buy a new tyre. A new, oh, new, new tyre. All right, new tyre. Buy a new tyre. <laughs> Three lives gone, so a chance for the braziers to steal the money. Fiona. Get a taxi. Get a taxi, Steve. Uh, hire another car. Hire another car, Mick. Phone a friend. Phone a friend. Show a bit of leg and try and flag down a hunky man. <laughs> yeah, is that what you do if the train breaks down, really? Yes, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Gary? I'll go with phone a friend, but I think I'll go with Marie's answer. So what are you going to go with? We're going to go for flag somebody else down. All right, flag, flag somebody help. else down. Flag help down. <laughs> no, so it means the Jackson. Three pounds in the bank. We're a lazy lot, aren't we? Answer number six is... ..is put your hazard lights on. And answer number three on something you do when you get a flight tire, flat tyre is... ..you jack up the car. Mm. Let's move on to round two. <laughs> Wendy and Marie, mm -hmm. top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a profession where you have to follow a route. Marie. Train driver. <laughs> I thought you might be saying that then, Marie. Mind you, the trains I get, they're always so late, I don't think they followed any route. We're looking for a train. Train driver is answer number five. Wendy. Bus driver. Bus driver is the top answer. What do you want to do? Play or pass? We oh, join no conferring, so we come to you, Jean. What do you think? Um, pilot. Pilot. A pilot has to follow a route, we hope. Yes. Answer number four, well played. Jackie? Taxi driver. A taxi driver? <laughs> yes, well played. Ten people said it and we're giving you a prize for that, Jackie. Peter? Put your life in the palm of your hand with this top-of-the-range electronic personal organiser. Oh, thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sean? It's going to sound daft less, but I'm going to go for a plant. It follows a root as it grows. <laughs> <laughs> will you give me the money yourself? If I will give there? you the money myself if it's up there. You can say it. Go on, you say it. If it's up there. If it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. We're looking for a plant. 
<laughs> so we lose a life on it. Good thinking, though. I like the thinking on that. Donis. Ambulance driver. All right. An ambulance driver has to know where he's going. <laughs> Two lives have gone. Will the braziers get a chance to steal? Wendy. Tram driver. Tram driver. <laughs> he just follows where it goes. It's a long, <laughs> it's a long track. Okay. So we come over now to Fiona. Uh, Nothing? I've forgotten what a it is. A runner. A runner? A uh, ship. Liner. Ship. Marie? Postman. Postman? Milkman. Milkman. What are you going to go with? Uh, we go for a postman. We're looking for a postie. Yes! <laughs> yes. Well done, the Braves. Yes, you get the £77. Pounds. The missing answer number two on a profession where you have to follow a route is... <laughs> is a rally driver. OK, let's play on round three. OK, top six answers. We asked 100 people to name. Do you want to put one hand on, on there? Other than Family Fortunes, name a TV programme with family in the title. G. Generation Game. <laughs> <laughs> the Family Generation Game. <laughs> no, it isn't there, funnily enough, Gene. Mick. Need an answer from you, Mick? No, I can't. Nothing coming? So the life's up. Stay where you are. At this point, I ask you, Jackie. Can you uh, think family some... Affairs. Family Affairs on Channel, fi on Channel 5, the soap. Yes. 58 people. That's more people than watched it. What are you going to do? Play or pass? Play. 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 OK, rejoin. No conferring. Well done with that top answer there, Jackie. Sean, um, what do you think? Family Adams. The family... Or the Adams family, even. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I did it. Yeah. Family... <laughs> The Adams Family. Yes, well played. <laughs> Jonas? The Swiss Robinson Family. The Swiss Robinson Family. <laughs> no, it was a film, I think. Wendy? Was there Families at War? Family at War. <laughs> yes, well played. <laughs> Save that life. Jean? The Brady Family. The Brady Generation Family. <laughs> Yeah, all that together. With the plant. <laughs> <laughs> the Brady family. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the Braziers might steal. Jackie. Uh, the Cassidy family. The Cassidy family. <laughs> no, so the Braziers get a chance to steal. Fiona. The Partridge family. The Partridge family. That's what you were thinking about. David Cassidy and the Partridge family. Steve. Ask the family. Ask the family. Mick? Ask the family. Ask the family. Family fun. Family fun. Don't remember that. I thought I think that, was a, I. that was a comic. <laughs> Gary. My family, Les. Your family. <laughs> on air, aren't we? Your family's on telly. What are you going to go with? We're going to go with Fiona, the Partridge family. We want the Partridge family. <laughs> yes, yeah. well played. <laughs> Couldn't accept the Cassidy family. I know what you're going The missing answers, number three, <laughs> is the royal family. And answer number two on Other Than Family Fortunes, a TV programme with family in the title is... Ask the family, I think we said that as well. So at the halfway stage, the Jacksons have £83 and the Braziers have £142. We're going to take a break. Join us in a couple of minutes for Double Money and Big Money. We'll see you then. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's play Double Money. OK, join me, Jackie and Steve. Okay. Double money means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. That's why it's doubled up. Top five answers in this first game. We asked 100 people to name something you'd see at a Punch and Judy show. Jackie. Um, punch. Punch. It's the top answer. Puppets is the top answer. What do you want to do, play or pass? Play. 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 Rejoin. You're just not getting in at the lockout, you lot, so you don't get a chance of prizes. So we come to you, Sean. Um, the gentleman's hand, controlling the puppets. So we're looking for, um, well, sooty in the nude, basically, aren't we? That's what they used to call the, the hand. <laughs> no, the puppeteer's hand isn't there, so we come to you, Donis. What do you think? Children. OK, we've got puppets, now we're looking for children. <laughs> yes, you turn to number two, well played, Donis. And the kids have got your prize as well. Peter. You've got your family taped with this high-spec, easy-to-use digital camcorder. <laughs> that sausage song. <laughs> Wendy, what do you think? Um, the tent. All right, we're looking for the tent. <laughs> yes, well played. <laughs> Going well. Two answers to find, two lives left. Jean. 
Seaside. OK, you might see the seaside in the background. No, so two lives have gone, so that means that the braziers might get a chance to get in. No, Les. Got nothing? No. no you can't think of anything? No. There goes the life. So, a chance for the braziers to win. Fiona. Rolling pin. Rolling pin. The beach. The beach. Sausages. Sausages. <laughs> Deck chair. Deck chair. Gary? The curtains. The curtains. What are you going to go with? Sausages. Sausages. If sausages is one of the two missing answers, that's the way to do it. <laughs> then you have the money in the bank. If not, the Jacksons get it. We're looking for sausages. <laughs> no, so it means the Jacksons. Your money goes up to 239 against 142. The missing answer is number five is parents, and answer number three on something you'd see at a Punch and Judy show is... The stick, of course. The punch hits the slapstick, it's called. OK, let's play on round two. OK, Sean. Meet Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name a traditional way of starting a joke. Sean. <laughs> oh, this is a silent comedian. It's Marcel Marceau he's doing here. <laughs> once upon a... Oh, time's up. Oh. Time's up. So, once upon a time, that's no, a story. Gonna say. <laughs> once upon a time. Fiona. There was this bloke. There was this bloke. <laughs> no, it isn't there, so stay where you are and I ask you now, Donna, how do you start a joke? How would you start a joke? What's a popular I word? I say, I say, I say. I say, I say, I say. <laughs> yes, it's there, but there are three more popular ones. Gary. There was an Englishman, Irishman, Scotchman. There was an Englishman, Irishman and Scotsman. <laughs> Is answer number three. What do you want to do? Play or pass? Play. 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 Rejoin, no conferring, and we come to you, Marie. What do you think? Knock, knock. Knock, knock? Is it a knock, knock joke? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and at last, by getting in at the lockout, we get a prize. <laughs> what have we got, Peter? Here's a virtual prize to take you to the edge and back, the very latest games console. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well done. Hiya, Mick. Hi, Les. OK, Mick, what do you think? No, it's gone, Les. No. Gone? It's gone. So we lose a life on it. What do you think, Steve? A traditional way of starting a joke. Have you heard the one about? Have you heard the one about? If that is there, then you are playing big money. Have you heard the one about? Yay! Yay! Really close contest, you did really well. Okay. There are no answers to reveal. You've been a smashing family. You're going back to Croydon with a DVD player, a personal organiser, a camcorder, and £239. Have you enjoyed it? Lovely. You've been smashing Thank the Jacksons. You, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Dave, congratulations. You're playing big money. Are you going to go for the South African Airways holiday or are you going to go for the car? We're going to go for the car, Les. Okay, who's going to play big money? Myself and Marie. Gary and Marie, join me at the mic, please. Marie's going to go first, Gary, go and put the headset on and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. Marie, I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Yes. Right, 200 points will get you the £5,000 and if on top of that between you, you can find the top five answers, then you can have the car. But you can't have the car without totalling the 200 points. Right, 15 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck, we want you to do this. Other than the judge, name something or someone you'd see in a courtroom. The defendant. A sport which requires something to be thrown. Tennis. Something you put on pancakes. Sugar. A part of the body most likely to burn in the sun. Face. An animal from the signs of the zodiac. A lion. All right, well played. <laughs> hey, Marie, very quickly answered. Put your arm around me. Right, first question. Other than the judge named something or someone you'd see in a courtroom. You said... The defendant, our survey said... Top answer! Defendant of the accused. It's flashing. Well, the defendant isn't, but the, the answer is. A sport which requires something to be thrown. You said... Tennis. You throw the ball first and then hit it. Our survey said... Nothing for tennis. Something you put on pancakes. You said... Sugar, our survey said... 18. We've got 47. A part of the body most likely to burn in the sun. You said... Your face, our survey said, 13 people said the face, we've got 60. An animal from the signs of the zodiac, you said, lion, our survey said, another top answer, we've got 96, two top answers, 
steady scoring, rejoin your family, we'll clear the board and we'll bring Gary back. <laughs> Welcome back, Gary. Marie scored really steadily. She got 96 points and found two top answers. So you need 104 points and three top answers okay. to get the car and the £5,000, OK? Yeah. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You get 20 seconds. That's an extra five in case you duplicate any of the answers we've had. And if you do, you'll hear this sound. And I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had from Marie? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Thanks. Other than the judge, name something or someone you'd see in a courtroom. Barrister. A sport which requires something to be thrown. Tennis. Another. Pass. Something you put on pancakes. Sugar. Another. Lemon. A part of the body most likely to burn in the sun. Uh, your nose. An animal from the size of the zodiac. Uh, Lion. Another. Oh, out of time. Oh, hard luck. I think we passed on some moves, so we know we definitely can't get the car. Funny you both said tennis, isn't it? We need 104. And we know we can't get the car because you passed on some. So let's go for the £5,000, OK? Let's, yeah. All right, look, look cheerful about it. Let's go for it. Right. Other than the judge name, something or someone you'd see in a courtroom. You said... A barrister, our survey said... Eight. We've got 104, we need 96. A sport which requires something to be thrown. You said tennis, and we'd already had it. Then you passed on it. The top answer there was javelin. Throw the javelin, worth 29. OK? So something you put on pancakes. You said lemon. Our survey said 20. The top answer, surprisingly, was syrup. was worth 34. So we've got 124, we need th uh, 76. A part of the body most likely to burn in the sun. You said nose. Our survey said 30. We've got 154, but I think you passed on this last one, so we can't do it. The top answer we'd already had was lion uh, on an animal from the sign of the zodiac, so you passed on that. So look, you've got 154. We're going to double that. We add it to the money that you've already got, uh, and plus, of course, the game's console, which gives you a brazier family fortune of £646. That's not a bad day's worth, is it? All right, Gary, if you join us, come on down. Come on down, that's the wrong show. We'll see you. That's the way it goes. Bye. Yeah.